Okay, it's ready. How can you eat? Yeah, with this baby. You just hold them to the side and you eat. Watch, watch me do it with two babies. <laughs> no way, baby. Yeah. I can even pee with them. I do everything. Mm. Hey. Breakfast is done. Reservation for today, please. Thank you. Reservation, yes. Come here. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Whew. Making a dim sum reservation last minute on a Sunday is really rare in Hong Kong. Luck is on our side today. baby changing room at Lee Garden. Wow, we still got VIP. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a bottle warmer in here. Wipes, sanitizer. Look at that, to dispose of the diapers. Yeah, you like it? Mm. <laughs> yeah? Are you already driving? Just picked up Rosie, look how cute. And you've got a necklace. My goodness. Look how cute. Good girl. Photo of the day. Look at that setup. Wow. Look at you, Bobby. Today I have something I've been putting off a bit uh levi's four month vaccinations he's four and a half months right now so we're a little bit behind on that i can't believe he's already four and a half months like if you want to see time go fast have a kid it's crazy how much they change and develop just week to week that's why when you talk to parents they'll say they're like 21 weeks instead of five months because the difference between 20 weeks and 21 weeks could be really huge. I didn't really understand that before I had a baby. I'm just getting ready to head out. I'm wearing a really simple, comfy outfit today. Actually, wait. This is the look of today. If I'm doing things around the city where I need to pop in and out very quickly, I find this a lot easier. Wow. Why are the clouds so pretty? I don't know what's going on here but Barney was my favorite show growing up and I feel so nostalgic seeing him here all the way in Hong Kong with my son I have to say it gets a little bit harder each time as they get older they're a little bit more afraid of strangers so he started crying pretty much right away and then they know what's going on as soon as they enter we have to do these vaccinations every two months in Hong Kong you feeling okay? my goodness good job today Yeah. <laughs> 
I just ordered this skip hop chair thing on carousel at the shop it was like 1495 hong kong dollars i believe on carousel i found it for 150 dollars it's a little bit old it's a year old but it's working perfectly fine and the people are just moving houses so they want to get rid of it but what a deal so i got that that's where i also got his uh mama Roo chair over there too can't beat the prices very dog friendly. They even put down this so that Rosie can comfortably sit next to me. And they have a dog menu. really fast because breast milk is magical. <laughs> Okay, I'll block you. I just had my first run. Four and a half months postpartum. I have been putting it off. I've been scared to do it. I haven't felt ready until this point. I've been working on my pelvic floor, strengthening everything because my doctor told me to make sure that feels really strong or else I can make it worse for later. I've been doing a lot of walking, but I haven't run. I've, I've had like little runs after Rosie and then I was like, oh, I don't feel quite ready before. This was my first run and oh my God, it feels, Amazing. I have to say now that I, I've, I've pretty much got mother, I, no, I don't have motherhood down. I'm always learning, but like I kind of know what I'm doing now a little bit more. I'm slowly picking up pieces of myself. It was like month by month and then week by week. And now I'm like kind of doing things almost day by day. And I like it. I'm a new mom, but I'm like finding those old pieces of me and sticking them back on. And I'm like kind of this new, like, stronger statue, <laughs> if that makes sense. That's what I feel like. Anyways, that run was great. I feel rejuvenated, I had a good sweat. I'm like ready to start my day. We're going for a walk to pick up some old toys from our friends slash neighbors. This is what we do every day. We go for a walk and we look at trees and touch them. 
The other day we put him down on some grass for the first time and he wasn't really sure about it. Let's cry. <laughs> Are you scared? So we're making it a point to get him to touch all the things. We got to bring him to the beach to touch sand and stuff. Got it. <laughs> this is the mother I am. Finding things secondhand and getting my husband to go pick them up. <laughs> it's like brand new. Yeah, perfect. Becoming a mom has made me much more resourceful. I lean on people a lot more, whether it's for advice or emotional and mental things or physical things. And I think that's great to share all the resources. The moms that I've met in my community and just online through whatever have been so supportive and made such a huge difference. Like mom groups are the and then there's also the fact that sharing resources are better for the planet. I'm just hyper aware of everything I do now. I can tell Levi is already watching me all the time, even though he's so young. He does this, I do this laugh like <laughs> and now he does this coughing laugh too. And um, I just, I just want to set a good example in everything I do. Let's do a body update now that I'm wearing something a little bit more form fitting. I'm almost five months postpartum. And this is what I look like. <laughs> I just started going back to the gym regularly. Uh, like you saw, I recently just started running again. I would say I aim for three days a week, but realistically it's more like two. Uh, and maybe the odd home workout where it's just some like stretching and very light things. Uh, I try to do quite a bit of walking. I walk with Levi and Rosie. Um, pretty much every day, but it's been raining lately, but most of the time. Still have a faint linea negra. That is taking a while to go away. My boobs have also decreased in size this past month. When I first gave birth and was starting to breastfeed, they were crazy. They grew so much. They grew during pregnancy and then even more when my milk came in. And now they're like, they've settled down. Uh, I'm not my pre-pregnancy size, but it's, it's just a lot not what they were anyways. Diet wise, I'm not on any particular diet. I'm just trying to eat really healthy whole foods. I need a lot of nutrition for breastfeeding and I've noticed just like my hair and skin is dry all the time. So a lot of the nutrients that I consume go into making breast milk and then just recovering and all of that. So just like my confinement um, mentality, I've taken that into now. I'm trying to eat very nutrient dense foods because I know if I, if I fill my stomach with um, foods that aren't that nutritional, it's just not gonna help me because a lot goes to the baby through breast milk, a lot goes to recovery, and then I'm just becoming depleted, more and more depleted. So for breakfast, you saw in this vlog, this is what I have pretty much 90% of the time, I would say. Lunch is usually either a salad, I eat a lot of brown rice, uh, the bowl, if I order delivery, I like to order this Japanese bowl with uh, chicken or salmon on top. I eat a lot of stews, a lot of soups. Um, I do eat junk food sometimes. I love a bag of chips while watching TV at night. But um, I'm just, I'm trying to be very mindful of my foods.